In this tip video, I want you to show you how I tackle the very pale yellow petals of this daffodil. We need to add shadow and shading to them in order to give the flower shape, but it can be so easy to overdo it and end up with really dark shadows or underdo it resulting in a flat looking flower. And if our shadow colour contains too much blue, it'll end up visually mixing with the yellow of the petals to create green shadows, which we don't want. Here's my method. I refer to a photo I took myself and produce a simple outline drawing without much shadow detail on the petals because I don't want the pencil work showing through the pale paint that I'm going to apply. First I lay down a very pale, very watery wash of my preferred yellow Windsor Lemon which is lovely and bright. Then straight away I work on the darker areas of the painting, the stem and the darker trumpet part of the flower. Now that those areas are as dark as they should be, I'll find it much easier to judge how dark to take the shadows on my petals without over or underdoing it. I want a really neutral grey for the shadows, but also one that's pale. Here I've laid my colours out in a colour wheel, and my most neutral and lightest grey is right in the centre, Davy's grey. However, this grey still contains a fair bit of blue, and it's going to be used quite watery, applied on top of the dry layer of pale yellow. So, because the paint's transparent, we'll end up seeing a visual mix on the paper which is a rather greeny shadow. So I need to balance that yellow that's going to be visible through the grey paint by adding some of the yellow's complementary colour to the grey. Complementary colours always balance each other out to create more neutral colours and they sit opposite each other on the colour wheel. So opposite my Windsor Lemon or my colour wheel, I've got my violets and I choose my lighter cobalt violet so that my mix doesn't get too dark. I use this mix of Davies Grey and Cobalt Violet, quite watery, and I begin to apply it to the shadow areas, concentrating on the darkest parts first. I then water the mix down further where a lighter shade is required on those top petals. Making sure what's underneath is dry, I then use this more watery mix to add a further layer to darken up any areas that I feel need it. Once this is dry, I can add another layer of the yellow, a little less watery this time, to the parts that need it. Making sure that the grey is dry underneath means that the colours don't bleed into one another and go muddy and more green. Once I've darkened those pale outer petals, I can go on to darken the stem and the trumpet a little bit more. And once that's done, I can more easily see a few areas on the now dry outer petals, which need yet another layer of paint to darken them further. And so there we have the finished daffodil with its glowing pale yellow petals that have plenty of shape thanks to my subtle use of the shadow mix. If you'd like to see a full real-time tutorial showing you how to paint this daffodil, including the stem, trumpet and all the colours and brush techniques, it's available via my online school. If you've enjoyed this tip video, please visit watercolourswithwow.com where you can sign up for a free step-by-step -step tutorial, check out the materials I recommend, view more tip videos, upload your own work to a gallery and lots more. Thanks for watching.